To make this block, you will need to cut four four and a half inch squares from a light pink solid fabric, and then two four and a half inch squares from a dark pink solid fabric. Cut another two four and a half inch squares from a white solid fabric, and then cut eight four inch squares from the white as well. And then cut two two inch squares from a light blue solid fabric. Start the block by making eight half square triangle units. To do this, grab all of the four and a half inch squares and mark a diagonal line along one side of each of the four light pink squares only. Evenly pair and pin each of the marked light pink squares with the two white squares and the two dark pink squares so that they're ready to be sewn together. At the sewing machine, sew a quarter inch seam allowance along the left hand side of the pencil line, gently feeding the next pair of squares through one after the other. Then turn the chain squares around and sew another quarter inch seam along the other side of the pencil line. Snip each of the joining threads and then carefully cut the squares in half along the pencil line with a ruler and blade. Using a medium to hot steamy iron, press all eight half square triangle units open, pressing the seams towards the darker side of fabric. Then using a set square ruler, trim all eight half square triangle units down to a perfect four inch square. Place the four light and dark pink half square triangle units together, forming a pinwheel design. Turn one unit over onto another, nesting the center seams smoothly together. Pin them evenly into place and then do the same with the two other units. Sew a quarter inch seam along each of the pinned edges, snip the thread joining them and then press each of the seams towards the darker side of fabric. Place the rows back into their original position and then flip one on top of the other. Take your time nesting the center seam. Then pin it and the rest of the top edge evenly into place. At the sewing machine, steadily sew a quarter inch seam along the edge just pinned. Then with the iron, gently press the center seam flat open to avoid any unwanted bulky seams. Next, grab two of the four inch white squares along with the two two inch blue squares. Then with a pencil and ruler, mark a diagonal line on one side of each of the blue squares. Place one of these blue squares evenly into a corner of a white square and pin it into place and do the same with the other. At the sewing machine, carefully sew on top of the pencil line from corner to corner, then do the same with the other. Trim off the excess corners with a ruler and blade, leaving behind a quarter inch seam allowance, and then press each of the little triangle corners open with the iron. With the pinwheel block in the center, Place the four leftover half square triangles, the six four inch white squares, and the two white and blue squares together as shown to complete the layout of the block. Starting on one side, turn a white square over onto a half square triangle unit and pin it evenly together. Then do the same with the opposite side. At the sewing machine, sew one pair through using a quarter inch seam allowance and then do the same with the other. Snip the joining threads and then gently press each seam away from the half square triangle unit. With these back in their original place, turn one over onto the pinwheel unit. Nest the center seams and then pin the edge evenly together. And then do the same with the opposite side. Carefully sew a quarter inch seam along the first side, then turn the unit around and do the same with the other edge. Then press each of these seams inwards towards the pinwheel unit. 
With the centre row complete, turn the top row half square triangle unit over onto the white square. Pin these pieces evenly together, sew a quarter inch seam along the pinned edge and then press the seam towards the half square triangle unit. Next, flip one white corner square over onto the centre and evenly pin it into place. Then do the same with the other corner square. At the sewing machine, sew a quarter inch seam along the first of the pinned edges. Turn it around and stitch down the other side. Gently press each of these seams outwards towards the corner squares with the iron. After you've sewn the bottom row together in the same way, turn the top row of the block over onto the centre one. Nest and pin the centre seams together along with the other two seams on either side of it. With the rest of the top edge pinned, carefully sew a quarter inch seam along it, ensuring no seams roll or get caught under the feed dogs. Patiently press this seam upwards towards the top row of the block with the iron. And then follow exactly the same steps to piece the last row on to the block. After giving the completed block a final press, use a set square ruler to square the block up to a perfect 14.5 inch square.